Hey, yo, what's up, guys? I'm King. Welcome back. So today I'm gonna show you how to waving your hands. Okay, let's go. First of all, you need a surface. You can practice on your table. Okay, now we have four steps that you need to remember. Step one, the floor. You do your finger like this, and then close it together, and put it on the surface. That's step one. Step two, the rooftop. It looks like this. And you can see it looks like the rooftop right here. Okay, and step three, like this. And I call this one the side hill. It looks like the side of the hill, right? Okay, step four, just drop your hand on the surface like this. And now you're going to repeat those steps. Okay, from here, you go step one, the floor, two, rooftop, three, side hill, drop down, four. Okay, once again, you want to go one, two, three, four. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about step four. We are doing like drop the hand down like this, right? But now I want you to bend your finger before you drop your hand down. Okay, go one, two, three, bend your finger, four. See, one, two, three, bend your finger, four. It's going to give you more effect from the waving. Okay, when you get used to the exercise, I want you to take a look at step two right here. That's okay for you to lift up your palm like this. And this is what we got. From here you go one, two, three, four. You see step two, I lift up my palm. And when you get comfortable with the exercise, you want to do it faster and faster. Okay, when I show you the tutorial, I put my hand like this. But when you practice, you want to put it like this. I don't know how to say it just... When you point your finger to the front, it feels more comfortable when you do the exercise. And don't forget to practice the other hand. Okay, about the reverse hand wave, you just gotta do from step 4, 3, 2, 1, back to 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, basically do from step 4 to step 1. And when you get used to it, do it faster. Okay, put your hand like this to feel more comfortable when you practice. And don't forget to practice the other hand. And that's all you need to know about the reverse hands wave. Okay, when you get used to the exercise on the table, you want to practice it in free space. Like this. Okay, check this out. When you practice on the table, the top of your finger is going to stand still like this, right? But when you practice in free space, this point can go like up and down and up and down like this and it gives you more effect. And with that effect, you can move in your hands every direction that you want. You can see right here. Okay, check this out. Hand wave, one, two, three. The step three of the hand wave is the step one of the arm wave. So we got something like this. One, two, three, arm wave, go one, two, three, and then continue the waving. And this is how it look like when you connect the hand wave with the arm wave. Yeah, look cool, right? And if you don't know how to do the arm way yet, I have a tutorial up here. Go check it out. If you see this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up, shake it to your friends, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on our notification. Uh, okay, that's it. See you next time. Peace.